day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. More labor. But you know what, yes, thing? You know, modern the King movement and all the other movements, if you don't dwell in the secret place, if you don't dwell in that authority, then any movement that you have will come to nothing. And, you know, I, I think I was thinking about even uh, Thomas Jefferson saying the separation of church and state. God is sitting there saying this look, we as a movement, we as a church, have to be separated, not 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 to say exclusively from participating in it, but we need to make sure our authority rests in the things of God, not in the things of government. The government, the people we put in the government are byproducts. The, the church must always operate not as part of the world system, but as the body of Christ being the light of the world. We have to dwell in that secret place. The church has got to be able to stay, separate itself from government. Not, I've got my best saying. There's the government that's supposed to do what it's supposed to do, right? You got, you got from taking care of the streets, taking care of fighting wars, fighting fires, doing social matters. But the church is supposed to continue to use the gospel and trying to change the heart of man. But we, we saw, let me say, I, let I, me say this, Pastor. I'm sorry. Wait. You know what? We 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 have to understand. We have to understand something fundamental according to what the scripture says first of all um the media there's been an own all out onslaught attack against the last few generations we had some things that have happened that have just been detrimental to society mm -hmm. i'll say the hip-hop culture social media and then um the pain where they where they where they where they're paying uh, certain rappers and certain people that that we as a culture look up to, to to put out a certain message, to dress a certain way, to have a certain mindset, to disregard certain authority, to try to get over, to try to beat folks. And so you, I'm gonna tell you something. This media, the media, there's only what we we're getting where they're getting their information from. There's an onslaught on this mindset in the psyche of people. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing what has transpired with with that and what's going on with that. And so now the average person you meet, 25 years, they they rappers, they sagging, they have a different mindset about authority, they have a different mindset about money. I mean, the whole mindset. I mean, the heart truly is desperately wicked. But this media system they have out here now, and the certain things that have happened in the last 40 years, has been absolutely detrimental to the mindset of people. Oh yeah, and, 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 and expecting the soul, the 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 prince of this world is the corrupt being, and his intent absolutely, is still still absolutely. Right. But what, what I what I wanted to say is, if let's go back to if Jesus operating in a similar environment that we operate in today. Brother Hasman said that Jesus didn't deal with the government, but he was. You see, I'm saying he was preaching the gospel. He was right. going, and, and and they can hear. Herod heard about him. Uh, some of the, the, the Roman soldiers heard about him. They heard about him, but he wasn't mixing with them, like talking about, right? The, you, the, the Romans were brutal. Anybody agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So look how Jesus operated. He didn't focus on like the wise or the, uh, or the people that was wealthy. He focused on the masses, and despite how things were going, despite the brutality of the Roman soldiers, despite the the the, the, uh, the lawgivers such as the Sanhedrin, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, look what he did. Look how successful he was. Well, let me tell you something, Pastor. There's something we can't discount about that too. We talk about how he preached and how the word spread before him. And all these other kind of things, but let's not let's understand one thing. If you go out here and you start raising the dead, you start you start healing the blind, 
you start making triple wall, let me tell you something. You're going to get the same uh, audience. Then you're going to get the same platform. Then you're going to have access to the media, just like all the rappers and everything I just said. So, yeah, he had these platforms because he overcame the world and he demonstrated his authority. That's why I was saying, hey, yes. we don't know our authority and we're not walking in authority. We go out here, let me tell you something. We go out here and start raising the dead and casting out devils. We couldn't build big enough tents. We couldn't build big enough buildings because they would be coming by the droves. But they got to see it right there, Jim. Yeah, they got to see something. They, they, they have to see the authority and the power that you walk in because there is plenty of people that are sharing this Bible all over the world. Right. How are you going to go into a strong man's house and overtake his house that's right. unless you first bind the strong man? There yes. got to be something that happens. Yes. Then, something's, got to, something's got to be visible to show these people the authority right. that you're walking in because Jesus had to do that to usurp the authority that was there. Right. He had to show that he was sent from God. Exactly. And that what he was doing was godly and not. And I mean, the authority he walked in was just obvious. I mean, right. we read the scripture on Thursday. Right. They saw how he spoke right. with authority. Right. Not like the Pharisee. Come on now. And, that, and that's what he's trying to tell us, though. That, that's why the, his focus here is, we, but he said, greater things we will do. If you remember that, that's what the scripture said, greater things will we do. We'll do greater because there's more of us if we operate under the same authority that yes. he operated in. And, and, okay. that, and that's what we want to talk about today. So, matter of fact, Brother Jackson, we're going to start off with the, uh, the scripture here. To go with to, to to get us in the same focus is let me just say one let me just say one thing before you start reading it. brother lee lee used to say it all the time remember he would take a look at his bible and then he would take a look at this world of what was going on he would say i don't want that i want this and 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 because that's he want to walk in what the book says yeah <laughs> not what not what we're experiencing and, on a daily basis and yeah. we all have to have that desire yes, and there sir. has to be a yearning to, to walk in what the book says. Come on now. And we'll, if, we can, if we can get there, then right. I think things can change fundamentally, but we got to get there. We got to get there. And I think, that's why I say, I think when we when we try to mesh in with the world system, and I think that's how even when the Catholic Church started with Constantine, they, you know, they mixed the government with the church. Mm -hmm. And therefore it diminished the power of the church and the mission of the church. The mission of the church is to preach the gospel, get to the heart of man, and change the hearts of man through the power and knowing of God. Those you, people you, are the ones that walk and work in government, work in business, work in, in, in families, work in homes. But we just got to do our part. The playbook is, mom or not, you must be born again. Uh, Once you're born again, walk in that authority that comes through Jesus Christ. So let's let's look at the power of walking in the authority. Jackson, I got you here. You can see it real good. I know you can. I can. That's All right. Too. Somebody trying to chime in. Who's who's that? It's me. Go ahead. Is, is, isn't it the, the the task to advance the kingdom? I mean, isn't the kingdom itself a government? Well, it's, well, it's all it is. Are we really trying to subvert these people out of the world system and bring them into the kingdom of God? But that's a bird. Be very overt in doing what we're doing. Yeah, we want to undermine their system. Not undermine, it's already undermining no. itself. We just want to bring them into our system. It's straightforward. It's yeah. I think we need to really figure out what an ambassador's job is. Come on now. Because right. that's what we are. An ambassador is not subject to the laws Come on now. Of, the, of the place that they're at. No, sir. Though they exist in that place, they're not subject to that law. They're bringing about their their homeland's business. They're right. doing their homeland business. Uh, what, what 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 were they called? <laughs> like, I'm not even going to bring it up. Hey, uh, let me tell you something. You're not going to uh, evangelize the whorehouse by sleeping with the prostitutes. Come on, no. that, exactly. <laughs> that's not how you gonna do it. Exactly, no. and that's what Christ said. Remember when, when they challenged Christ and said, "What you can convince me or convict me of sin?" Right? 
But see, we got mixed up into the world system. We just had it with Jared Falwell. Um, you know, it, it's very evident that the church has been mixing itself into the world system instead of the kingdom system. God says, stay and you got, look, let's tell one thing before we leave here today is that you have to dwell in the secret place. You have to abide in Christ before you can be affected. The church is not a go in and out, in and out. It's to stay in and operate under that authority, operate under that anointing that comes from Christ Jesus. Isn't that what John 15 said? He's the husband, the husband. He's the branch or he's the vine. You got to abide where? In him. In, in him. Amen. You know, there's something that just came to mind. Jesus' ministry was three years, correct? Yes, sir. So these disciples was Jesus three years. Uh-huh. Paul went three years in the desert. Come out. Searching the scriptures. Uh-huh. To learn of Christ. Yes, sir. To the Spirit. I mean, you just can't do this without spending time with Christ. And you gotta stay with him. Oh, you have to get into this word Come on. and find out who Christ is. Yes, sir. What he's done. Come on. How he's changed you. Come on. Who you are, the love that is given to you Come on. to give out, and then you go out <laughs> and you make a difference in this world. But you got to figure all this out before you go out there. The problem is we got people not doing that. And they're putting, they're getting put out in front of folks, and they're taking them down these different roads that ain't got nothing to do with God's and God's will for them in their life. Right. They're not, they're not equipping them. Come out to, to do the work of the ministry. Yeah. They're, they're not, they're not, they're uh, not uh, uh, showing them who they are. No, no. You got people that, that are just powerless trying to operate in power. Right. They're not even tapped into the power and the authority that they have. So until we do that, right, we can't be effective. And right. it's not just us that are supposed to demonstrate uh, the, the will of God and, and walk into authority. Come on. It's, 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 all, it's everybody. Exactly. And yeah. once we figure that out, then that's all we need to do is start teaching people who they are, the love of God, and what he's done for them. Right. Yeah, that's the gospel. That's Here's the gospel. And I think, you know, one thing I think that, that the gospel got is part of with the, the administrative side of ministry, where they start working about how much money I'm supposed to make. And, and, and they try to focus on, you listen just to me. I don't want to empower you to become anointed above me. You will stay below me. You know what I mean? That That's what I think ministries have done is, I don't want you to grow because you'll grow out of me and you'll leave me and you'll take some people with me. Mm. And God is saying this, I don't they want ain't you. ain't yours anyway. They ain't, I know it. It's never one. See, we get it's, it. it's, there's, there's so many ways that the enemy has infiltrated the church, the so-called church. It. Yep. It's, it's, it's just incredible. We I mean, you got what you just said. Yeah. You, got, you got to the point to where you got ministers, they just have to come with something that that's just new. Well, come on, come on. You know, the gospel is, you, you just can't keep giving out the gospel because, but that's the power of God. Hey, it's the gospel. And they got to be, they got to be uh, eloquent in their talk. They, they got to be using lofty words. They, they got to find some new pattern. They got to come up with, with steps on how to be who you already are and, and all this other stuff oh. but the bottom line is they're not sharing and teaching the gospel they're not perfecting the saints to do the work of the ministry so obviously there's failure hey look look we don't cry to, we you know one of the things i heard growing up uh at least when I, I guess even when the uh, in Club of Dollar Church and stuff they're talking about, you heard it before, spiritual fathers. 
I get so tired of people telling me, man, you need, need a, you need a, uh, uh, you need a covering. I'm like, <laughs> but but Paul, what is the Holy Spirit's job then? Paul, Paul preached that himself. Remember when he said that you have many teachers, but only one father. You only have one father, but we, yeah. we heard that in ministry. We heard yeah. today, spiritual, but, but, or other cards, spiritual endorser. You know, you got to be endorsed by somebody. You got to come under somebody's ministry. But yeah. well, the fact is, we're supposed to be under Christ. Mm -hmm. It's not to be. Mm -hmm. it's not to be under Christ. We're just out.